Deputy Speaker, Deputy Speaker, there are so many ways in which this government has failed the people of Australia, but there has to be one that is the most indefensible and short-sighted, and that is the concerted attack on access to higher education. The changes will see 20 per cent cuts to higher education, increased fees to students of up to $100,000 and increased interest rates on that debt. It will be a debt sentence that may lock people out of buying a home for years, like we are seeing in America. The changes that are being proposed by the Minister for Education are a bad deal for all Australians. Mr Deputy Speaker, we've got to get a bit serious. This is not just about the people who are at, at uh, university. This is also about investing in our country. Let me be clear. Labor will not support a system of higher fees, larger student debt, reduced access and greater inequality. The Education Minister has had almost every position imaginable on the future of higher education. Before the election, he committed to maintaining existing university funding arrangements. After the election, he maintained that he promised uh, before the election not to increase university fees. In the federal budget, he massively cut university funding and introduced plans to massively hike student fees. Then he claimed that this was OK because the Liberal Party didn't actually have a higher education policy before the last election. While the Education Minister needs to gather up the pieces of his shattered credibility and do one last policy backflip, he needs to introduce the policy that the Australian public want and abandon these unfair changes to our university sector. We will fight this every inch of the way.